For part two of our healthy habits series, we are learning all about eating healthy foods. This will be a very yummy lesson. Let's go. How many colors are there in your fruit cup? Variety is part of eating healthy. We want a healthy body. That's why we use good hygiene. It's also why we eat healthy foods. They form a balanced diet. Foods are divided into groups. Each food group gives our body something it needs. Some foods help fight off diseases. What's your favorite food? Let me know down below. The first two food groups are fruits and vegetables. Both are good for our heart and kidneys. Grains are a food group too. Rice, bread and pasta are grains. Grains give us energy. What do you like to do when you have lots of energy? These boys like playing football. What about you? Let me know down below. Protein foods are also another group. Meat, poultry and seafood have protein. So do beans, peas, eggs, nuts and seeds. Protein is good for our blood and bones. We also need dairy foods which is another food group. Milk, yogurt and cheese are a few. Dairy is important for teeth and bones. We even need a little oil in our diet. It gives us vitamins. Yet not all oils are healthy. Remember that foods made with vegetable, fish or nut oils are the healthy ones. Now that we've learned about the five different food groups, how much of each food group should you eat? Ask your doctor because a lot depends on your age and body. And finally, try new foods often. Color your plate with different fruits and vegetables. Find tasty ways to be healthy. What are some of your healthy habits? Let me know down below. Now let's go through some of the new words we learned in today's book. The first word is diet, which is the food that is regularly eaten to stay strong and healthy. Diseases are sicknesses or illnesses. Hygiene is keeping yourself clean or other actions that support good health. Are chickens or other farm birds that are kept for their eggs or meat. Protein is a nutrient found in certain foods that is important for our body's cells to develop and work properly. Variety is having many different forms or types. And finally, vitamins are nutrients made by plants and animals which our body needs to grow and work properly. Now it's your turn. What do you think about eating healthy foods and what are some things you learned in today's book? Let me know down below. Take some time to think about it and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.